Jason Cornell from the right. Bill from the Columbus Dispatch. Yes, Sean, how much do you remember last year's Maryland game? How much does that drive you guys this week? <coughs> um, it drives us a lot. You know, Maryland's a great program. It's a great team. You know, we gotta go. We gotta go out there and get them our best game because last year they gave us their best game. And one thing, about, one thing about Maryland is they have players. They have a lot of players on the offensive side. Their skill, their skill set on the offensive side is really good. What was the feeling among you guys on defense after that game, walking off the field? You won, but what was the feeling like? It wasn't, it wasn't good enough. You know, we all, we, it's one thing about this year. Like, when we don't think we're as good as we are, and we're always improving. We're always trying to get better each week. That's one thing that we're doing different from we did last year. We're trying to improve every week. Uh, second row right, Tony from the Ozone. Jay Sean, what is, you're a fifth year guy. Aside from what you do on the, on the field on Saturdays, what's what's your role with this team in terms of being a leader? Uh, I'm not. I'll, I'll say I'm not much of a vocal leader, but I try to do as much as I can on the field to show that I'm trying to lead the team to the right to the right way. Like, I'm in here on most days because I don't have class really because I, I'm a graduate, so I'm in here watching film and trying to do what I can do to help the team and like seeing stuff that. You might not see on the first day of us watching film. I'm just telling, like, uh, you know, I noticed this about this player, and I noticed this about that player, and what we can do to help us improve our improve our skill set going against them. Third row right, Rob from the dispatch. You play big time football. There's a lot of pressure. Sometimes it can be hard to remember how to have fun, especially as a fifth year guy. Yeah. Are, are you having fun, and how do you have fun? I think mean, that's the one. Point. I think mean, that's the one thing that's different about this team from previous year, like. Previous years, I feel like we were so stiff, but like this year, we're just letting it loose. We're letting the bullets fly, and I feel like we're just having a lot of fun out there. And we're we're enjoying playing with each other. Like we can see, like what we have in the locker room now is it's it's really it's really different. Like the love that we have for each other, and the love we have for our brothers. Like we just want to go out there and have fun and play ball. And I feel like that's what one one thing that we're doing this year from previous years. Like we're letting it loose. Is that something you guys came up with as players? Has that been sort of, have the coaches helped with that? How have you gotten to that? I feel like, I feel like this has been the culture since we started uh, once at workouts. It's like we're all playing for each other. We all know where we want to be at the end of the day. And, and well, you don't want to let your brother down. And like, at the same time, you want to have fun. So we know, when to, we know when to have fun and we know when to lock in. And that's one thing that we really changed from previous years. Like, when we know when it's time to play, have fun, and we know when time, it's like to lock in and, and be elite football players. I don't, it's letting it loose, I guess. Like, we, in the locker room, we play games all day. Like, before practice, we be joking around. And then when it's time to go out to practice, we lock in and know what time, it's business time. Just a little inside joke between Jay Sean and me. That way, yeah. Austin, front row right, left row. <laughs> Jay Sean, with all the attention that Chase is getting, when we watch you guys, obviously you and Devon are helping set him up for some of that. And you don't get the attention maybe the same way that Chase does. When you guys are in the meeting room or on the field or whatever, how much credit does he share with you guys when he has individual uh, success? Yeah, Chase gives us one thing that Chase presses all of us on the line. Like he said, I wouldn't be able to do what he, what I'm able to do if we're not in the inside helping him out. That's one thing that we love as inside guys. And again, he gives us inside guys credit for the dirty work that we do. That's one thing that Chase gives us a lot of about. A lot, a lot of credit for us. Third row right, Tony from the Ozone. Tony, what's the biggest challenge you guys have faced this year? Chase, you know, you guys have been in the same room together for a while. What's been the biggest challenge for you guys this year? Because sometimes. Defensive end zone, understand. I used to be a defense end. It's a hard job to do to go inside and fit double teams and play 320 pound guards and, and have a 320 pound tackle come down on you. So I think the ends really have an understanding of what me, Davon, BB, Tommy, and Haskell go through on the inside. And when he is in this new stand up kind of, I don't know, prowling around, attacking guards inside that we, should, we saw in the Wisconsin game, what's, what makes him so dangerous when he's doing that? Anything that if Chase can be anywhere on the field, it'd be dangerous. I believe he just a, he's just a different type of player. He, you know, he's an elite college football player. Chase can do anything on the field, play linebacker as you saw last game and stand up and rush and rush and be the best defense in college football. That's one thing that Chase has proven that he is the probably the best player in college football right now. And right next door, Tim from Letterman Row. Yeah, playing off of that, uh, Sean, do you know? Do you feel like you're playing with one of the elite players who's ever played here? I mean, is that is that kind of a sense of it? That, I don't know. You know I mean? I've been I've been here for a while, and I I don't yeah. I don't play with some elite players. Man. There's some players in the NFL that I played against and okay. played with. So yeah. the Bosa's, I've been Taylor Decker, Tyquan Lewis. Like was, I've been here with Zeke was here, Braxton. So I've I've been here for a while, and I've seen a lot of elite players come through here. So I I probably say he's one of, one of the best, might be the best, but 
I don't know, there's, there's been a lot of elite players that do a lot of different things for this program. Yeah, I didn't necessarily rank him the number one. I was just yeah. wanting to see what you said. Now, the other thing, uh, you know, this time a year ago, it, we were all trying to figure out what was going wrong with the defense. I'm sure y'all were too on occasion with the big gash plays y'all gave up and stuff. But nowadays, when y'all get the game plan, is there a sense of almost eagerness or curiosity to see what y'all are going to do next? I mean, no, from a defensive standpoint? It's pretty much man on man. It's man on man hoods. Like you versus that guy across me. You got to win your one on one battle first before we do all the extra stuff. So that's one thing that we strictly know now. Like we attack the line of scrimmage. And if you can beat that man one on one, you can beat the double team, then we're, we're fine. We can play base the whole game. And all we got to do is win your one-on-ones. And that's one thing that we've been doing really well this year is winning on one-on-ones. I was going to say, why are you and Devon so, you think, so effective in that regard? Uh, Coach Jonathan, that's one thing that we stressed on the off seasons is fitting the run. And that's one thing that we've been doing really well, I feel like, is fit, being able to fit the double teams and fit the base blocks and understand, like, understand the concept of the offense. So, like, when we understand what, what, the, what the offense is lined up in, we know what we what we um we're gonna get. So that's one thing that we did in the offseason. Me and Dave Vaughn was watching a lot of film on pretty much just offense, watching their like their counter their counters and zones and the, the different packages that they can give that they can go against us and how will we fit that run and where we can fit those gap schemes. Uh, second row middle, Bruce from Sports Illustrated Maven. Uh, Jay Sean, I'm looking at the Maryland game last year, fifty one points, seven touchdowns. You played five big ten games, five. You've given up five touchdowns, thirty eight points. From the outside there are no freshmen making an impact on defense. You know, it's, that's not the improvement. So can you help me understand how the same exact guys can be playing so much better this year than last year? We learn how not to be selfish. You know, sometimes as you want to play for yourself sometimes, but now, like, I'm not saying not me personally, but the team is like we're playing for each other. I think that's one thing that we're not arguing, we're not yelling at each other, we're not getting down on each other. If, we, if a player makes a mistake, we're, put, we're pushing them up and saying, look, we got it on the next player, and we're not worried about anything. That's one thing that we're not doing that we did in previous years. We're not playing self, we're not playing for one each other, we're playing for each other. And I feel like this is just a brotherhood now. It's like it's a really strong brotherhood. Not saying that we haven't had brotherhoods before, but the bond that we have with one another is, is really different this year. That word was thrown around a lot in the past, brotherhood. Yeah. It's interesting for me to hear you say that now you either have it on a new level or you... Yeah, I feel like it's a... I just, it's, it just what, what the outside world can see, what we see in the locker room now, it's just, it's just different. It's, like, it's a different feeling that we have in the locker room. It's just like, you can see people laughing, having fun. It's like, we're just all playing loose. And I feel like that's one thing that's different from being like, being a, being a good football player and a bad football player is being able to play loose and understanding like what's in front of you. And I feel like that's what we, that's some issues that we might have probably had in the past is not being able to play loose. The, uh, I mean, from the outside in, people look and go, well, four of the new, four of the coaches on the defense are new this year. And the yeah. scheme's different. And so people look at that and go, it's the scheme. Yeah. You're playing the wrong scheme. I think just letting us play. That's what, that's what, that's what we always want to do is let us play. And that's one thing that we're doing is just playing ball. And final questions, front row right. Uh, Joey from the Columbus Dispatch. Chase had a couple of bad ankles last season. Do you remember him playing through much pain last year? Oh yeah, Chase played through. Like we all, like I say, one thing that we learn how to play through pain. You know, if, if you either you're hurt or you're injured. If you're hurt, you can play. But if you're injured, you know, I'll just sit down and let it rest. But if you hurt, we learn how to play hurt. And that's one thing. So we we didn't understand how to do. I feel like. Do you think he's helped the fact that he's maybe has better ankles this year? Yeah. Hey, that's one thing um, I've seen Chase do more this year is being in the training room and taking care of his body. That's one thing that a lot of players have been doing in this year has been in the training room taking care of the body. That's getting stretched, ice, stem, as everybody's just working, getting the hot tub, cold tub more. It's like, it's, like I'm saying, like, I feel like this team is like acting like an NFL team. They're taking care of their business. Each player is individually taking care of themselves and understanding like, what they can do better to make this program better. I feel like one thing that you can do is take care of your body, and that's what a lot of players are doing now, is taking care of their body, understanding what they have to do to be ready to play on Saturday. Great. Jay Sean, thank you so much. Yep, no problem. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Q with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. We got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State Athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.